Yeah. Moving on to another film. You wrote the screenplay for Nine and a Half Weeks. And I felt that was a film that made stars out of Kim Basinger and Mickey Rourke back in 1986. Was there yeah. an inkling that the film would become such a cult film as it is now? Well, I think everyone hoped that it would be more than a cult film um, mm. because the director, Adrian Lyne, was coming off of the, his big hit Flashdance. Yeah. And yeah. it was a major studio putting yeah. up major money. Yeah. He insisted on these two. Well, Mickey Rourke was known, but as a, as a character actor, mm. uh, not as a romantic lead. And Kim Bassinger was not well known at all. Um, a lot of actresses turned it down. It was just too yeah. too raunchy, too erotic for them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I don't think Adrian ever thought that. I, I think he really misconstrued America, yeah. that there is this vein of, of puritanism with them. Um, you know, they they could not be more uninhibited behind closed doors. Oh yeah, yeah. But there is this sanctimonious part of us um that says you know that's filthy you know we can't have that in our movie theaters yeah. so it was actually uh his mistaking our our national psyche to think that it would be a hit um and and yet it was extremely commercial stuff because no one was making these movies at all yeah. and he did it with such style yeah um uh, so even i didn't really anticipate i knew the critics were going to roast it but I didn't know that people wouldn't show up at the theaters. Yeah, watch it at home, didn't they? I think. Whatever. Well, it took a while for it to come out in video, but yeah. at the, on the year that it came out, I think it was uh, seventy something. Um, no, eighty, eighty one, or something like that. Yeah. Um, it you know it took a long time for it to come to video, and uh, in the meantime, it had that reputation yeah. in Europe. On the contrary, <laughs> where people are a little more uh, uh, appreciative of that stuff. It was not just a hit. It was huge. And indeed, when I when we moved to France to make another film in 89, uh, it was still playing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Kim Basinger and Mickey Rourke were like the you know hot i mean yeah. they were considered hot whereas they were still not very well known in the states mm. uh until the video came out and then nobody was afraid of being seen going going into a theater they could just rent it and take it home yeah. and then it found its audience then yeah. it became huge 